channel. Today we're going to be playing with some Honeybee Stamps items. I have this mailbox memo set, which has a coordinating die on the back. This lace hearts layering frame. I'm gonna be playing with that. And then also this vintage mailbox. What's really cool about this vintage mailbox is it's sized to fit into an A2 size card. So we are going to make it into a card or you can use it on a card base. But today we're gonna to use it as a card. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna do some die cutting today. I'm gonna to start off first with our mailbox. And for this, we are going to be die cutting. There's two parts to this mailbox. So we have a front part and a back part. So our front part is going to be the one that has this decorative embossed detail on it. And that we're going to cut out onto some Concorded Ninth Pebble card stock. And it just fits on an A2 size card. If you kind of push it up at the bottom, you can feel the edge of the die get right onto the edge of the cardstock, so it's gonna fit on there perfectly. Also gonna cut out the back side of our card using the solid cut of the card base. I have some other elements for our mailbox, which we have this really cool post die cut and embossed plate. We have this part right here that goes on the, the flap of our card. We're gonna use that. And I also am going to be using the this little um, cutout here as well. For these lace hearts, I'm going to be using this one right here and this one, which this one creates a really pretty stitched edge on the inside. And then this one has an embossed piece on the inside. We're gonna cut those two. And I think I might grab, no, I'm not gonna cut any of those. And then I also wanna cut the little knob that's gonna go onto our mailbox. So I'm gonna cut that out as well. So I'm pretty much using all of the dies from the mailbox except for the extra layer to the flap. And then there's two more little pieces that actually coordinate with this little piece right here, but we're not gonna use that today. I have all of my pieces die cut that I need die cut. And I find it a little difficult and you might not be able to see it, but hopefully the camera will pick it up. I do have the embossed parts on this dark gray cardstock, which is really hard to see. So, but you'll be able to see, I'll insert more photos of it as at the end of the video, if you wanna see how that looks, but that is so pretty. And I love the way the embossing comes out. We have the embossing detail on here as well. And then also on our heart, we have the little debossing on there have it on our other heart, and then also on the little lock that's gonna go on the door. And just a little tip, I do have uh, two sets of plates. So I have the original plates that come with my, my die cutting machine. I use the Anna Griffin, and I love the having both sets. This one is the smaller size, but it does fit an A2 size card panel so you can get lots of die cutting. So what I could do is set both of these up, and I usually run get them all ready and then run as many as I can um, on one plate, on the bigger plate, and then I'll bring in the smaller plate to do more die cutting. I'm gonna stamp out my sentiment. I'm using my Misty. I have my um, photopolymer uh, grip mat inside here. Piece of the same colored cardstock, which is Mushroom by Concord and Ninth. And then I'm using the sentiment that is, there's a surprising amount of love inside this card. I am setting my cardstock inside here. I just need to grab my anti-static powder and we are going to stamp that out onto this piece of gray cardstock. And then I will die cut it with the coordinating die. Just gonna close my cover to pick it up. And then I have my Versamark ink and we'll just get that all nice and inked up. And we'll get that stamp transferred over to our cardstock. Very nice. I'm using Hero Arts embossing powder for this one. This is the ultra fine embossing powder. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna sprinkle that right over the top. I always like to do two sprinkles because who doesn't like two sprinkles? And we'll just get off anything that doesn't belong there. I'll get this poured back into the container. I'm just gonna heat up my heat tool and we will emboss our embossing powder.
I'm gonna let that cool off and then I'm gonna come in with a rag and just wipe off that anti-static powder that's on there so it's not quite as noticeable. I'm gonna die cut my sentiment with the coordinating die and I'm just adding some tape on there just to hold it in place because I don't want it to slip while I am die cutting and I'll run this through my machine. I'm ready to start putting my card together. I have my card base, which is the solid piece, and then the front of my card. I added quarter inch score tape uh, to the back, and I wanted to use something that I knew would stick really well because I am going to be making this into a gift card holder as well as a card. I'm gonna remove the backing off this tape, but I am also going to come in with some liquid glue just because I want to make sure that I give myself that allowance to line this up. We just wanna make sure that I don't put any glue in this section right here because that's gonna be the part where our gift card will slip through. So the liquid glue just gives me a little extra security so I know that I can get this into place without it being stuck down too quickly and it's not lined up. There, that came out perfect. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. I'm loving how this is coming together already. It's not even fully done and I already love it. I'm gonna add my decorative pieces. So this piece right here, put a little dots of glue on either end. is going to go right on the flap of our mailbox. I had accidentally added glue to the back of the little decorative piece right here and um, I just wiped it off with my finger. I'll come back with a, once it's really dry, I'll come back with a sand eraser and erase that off so that it doesn't stick. I also have my post panel here, so we'll just add some liquid glue to this one as well. You can hear this down. And for this one, I'm lining it up because it's a little bit larger than the flap that is on the mailbox. And because of that, I am lining it up just on the fold side so that I know that it's not going to be in the way when it gets folded back. I should have thought of this before I put my card together is that I wanted to stamp a sentiment on the inside. I should have stamped that before I put my card together, but that's okay. We're going to use the original Misty here. This is the, the larger size one. I'm going to get that in there, it's stuck to my grip mat. And I'm gonna use the sentiment, so before I use the surprising amount of love, I'm gonna use the, and it's all for you, on the inside, since I'm putting a, a gift card in here, make sure our sentiment is going in the right direction. We're gonna center that right in the middle. We'll pick it up with our door front. And for this, I'm gonna use the mushroom ink, which coordinates with the darker color gray cardstock. And I don't wanna take chances since my flaps are poking up and down. I'm just gonna wipe off that ink that's getting on the door so we don't get it anywhere else on our card that we just put together. Boy, that ink pad is super inky. My mushroom ink pad has a lot of ink in it, so I'm gonna leave this to dry a little bit and play with some of these pieces. This little heart I'm gonna put into the center of this one. I just need to grab some foam tape. And because I don't trust myself to not get this messed up, I'm gonna add a little liquid adhesive to the back so we can slide it around. See, there we go, I already did put it in the wrong spot. There you go. 
I love that. I love the detail of that embossing. That is so pretty. Oh, I almost forgot about our little piece up at the top here. I am going to glue that down. Just gonna add a couple pieces of glue. And we'll put the top of our mailbox on. That is adorable, I love that. So for this, I'm going to be adding my heart. I don't wanna cover up the post, so I think that I'm going to add my heart just a little bit over here, putting it underneath the flap, but I don't wanna hear it anywhere on the top part up here because we need to be able to open our door. So I am going to just glue that down so that it's only on the door of our mailbox. And I put the glue right on there so they don't have to worry about accidentally gluing it in the wrong spot. I forgot to put the lock on, so I'm just gonna stick that right underneath the heart and get that into place just like that. So that worked out really well. And I'm gonna add some mini square it foam squares to this so we can pop this up on our card. So I am going to just cut a couple of these in half and then we will use our paper piercer, which is a handy tool for kind of picking up these smaller pieces of foam adhesive. And we'll just get these down onto the back of our sentiment. I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue to my foam tape just to make it easier for lining this up onto my card. And that I'm going to put right at the bottom, making sure we're pretty center. I love that. I like how that white just pops right off there. Just to create a little bolt for my lock here on my door. And I think I'm also going to come around and just do, maybe I'll even put some, come back. We'll even add right to the ends of our little decorative piece that we put on our top part, like where you'd, this is where you would put your mail if you were putting it in the mail. Would have liked to have put the heart on this side, but it would have been in the way of the hinge of the door for our mailbox. However, if I could use this on a card base, I'd probably want to do it on a maybe a five by seven card, and I could do the heart over here, but because this was the door and they were going to open up to see the sentiment, then I thought it would get in the way and is better on this side. So we have the a surprising amount of love in this card, and it's all for you, and I can go ahead and stick a gift card right in here. They can open up the flap and see the gift card or they'll open it up and see the gift card on the inside and when they pull it out have a cute little sentiment. This was a lot of fun to put together and even with the little heart over overlapping on the side it does still fit into an A2 size envelope which is which is a nice little nice deal there. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. I'll leave a link to all the supplies that I used in today's video down below in the YouTube description. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.